In this video, we're going to take a look at a command that will show you the path that your Chromebook used to reach your website. In order to run this command, we need to load the Chrome OS shell, also referred to as Crosh. To do this, we need to press and hold down the Ctrl and Alt keys, and then press T on the keyboard. A browser window will open called Chrome OS Developer Shell. From within the Crosh, you can see that we are presented with a command prompt. If we were running this command on a Unix or Linux computer, we would use the command trace root. However, on a Chromebook, we need to use the command trace path. We then need to enter the IP address or the domain name of the server that we wish to test the connection with. When we press enter on the keyboard, we're presented with a report listing the results of the test. In this example, the test is showing us the network path that was taken to reach the My Doodads website. To help us understand what we're looking at, let's highlight some of the elements that make up this report. The report is read in rows, with each row being referred to as a hop. Each hop measures how quickly packets of test data pass between the different routers that lead to the My Doodads website. You can see that this Chromebook has reported 7 hops from within a total of 30 hops. The first piece of information within a hop shows you the domain name or IP address of that router. The next piece of information lists a hop's time, which will give you an indication of the router's latency. Finally, from the data within the report, we should be able to work out specific elements relating to the path that the data took to reach the MyDoodad server. As you can see, this element relates to our home network. While this element is linked to our internet service provider. And this element relates to the server we are trying to connect to. Using this information, it is possible to work out where there is a problem with a connection to a server. If you would like to know more about how to read the results from a trace path test, we have linked to a few articles in the description for this video. Finally, you may have noticed that we have a number of no replies in the results. A no reply does not necessarily indicate a problem. Instead, it could just simply be a firewall blocking the test packets of data or that a router has been configured in a specific way. The ACID test really is if you're able to access the server. So in this example, as we can access the server that is hosting the MyDoodads website, the report suggests that there are no problems with the path. To close the crosh, if at the command prompt we type exit and then press enter on the keyboard, we will be returned to the Chrome OS desktop. 